so Cody, we're talking about unlocking 300 bushel corn. What are some of the things that we can do? Yeah, great question. So uh, some different different things to pay attention to during the, the crop season yet uh, would be stress mitigation, nutrient management, and then also pest management. So when we think of uh, plant health and stress mitigation, what are some of the things we can do for that corn crop post emerge? Yeah, so a couple different things we, uh, we can look at is uh, foliar biostimulant or fungicides. Uh, foliar biostimulant that, that we carry, uh, that would be a good, great option would be Voyagro. Voyagro is a product that you spray on around that, that V5 time, um, and it's gonna help the plant uh, move nutrients throughout the plant more efficiently and, and help relieve any stress um, from that aspect. And yeah, you talk about that V5 timeline, it's we're putting a post-merge herbicide, maybe a micronutrient there. Why not throw it in there and get a free ride? I'm, I'm all about those free rides. <laughs> for sure. So you mentioned Voyagro. What are some other things we can do for stress mitigation? Yeah, another another uh, option would be looking at fungicide. Um, fungicide, uh, a lot of people use for, for stress mitigation, plant health. Um, and, and on a year like this with uh, great potential for, for returns, um, there's potential for maybe multiple applications of fungicide throughout the season. V5, um, pre, pre-tassel, after-tassel, um, things along those lines. Yeah, you look at the corn price now, I, a lot of these applications, you don't have to get any bushel return to get a good old ROI on it. Nope, nope, not at all. So moving forward, P and K has already been applied. Uh, a lot of guys, I know side dress nitrogen is a big thing in our area. Are there any other things we should do besides doing the typical throwing out some urea and some UAN? Yeah, so another good question. Uh, a couple different things we can look at as far as nutrient management. Playing off the side dress, um, side dress is always an option as far as urea or UAN. Uh, but we also uh, carry a product called Nutritia N, um, and that's a product that you're going to spray foliar on your, your crop, on your corn. Um, and that's actually going to allow the corn crop to biologically pull uh, nitrogen, atmospheric nitrogen out of the air and turn it into plant usable ammonium and, and make sure that corn crop is not short on nitrogen at all throughout the crop season. Yeah, let's, let's go up and grab some of that nitrogen yeah. Yeah, just floating around free <laughs> nitrogen. <laughs> Put it in your air. pockets. So after V5, you start thinking about tassel time. That's another time to throw some micronutrients out there. You throw in a fungicide. You got any thoughts on what to use around that V5 timing? Actually, just talking about timing and, and micronutrients, there's multiple times throughout the crop growing season. That would be great times to throw in a product like our, our any of our Smart Brand products. High quality products that the, the plant's gonna absorb um, anywhere from Smart Bee, Smart Bee Molly, and Smart Trio. Um, depending on, on the timing, the, the corn crops usually looking for some different micronutrients depending on what, what crop stage it's at. Um, and, and our agronomists such as yourself are gonna be great experts at helping, uh, helping you decipher which product to use and what the best timing is gonna be to, to apply those products. Yes, so we've talked about stress mitigation. We've talked about nutrients. Should we dive into pest control? Pest control, let's do it. So how can pest control help you achieve their interbushal corn? Yeah, so like you had mentioned earlier, it's important obviously to start out the season uh, on the right foot as far as having your nutrients in place, your pH in place, uh, planting well. Um, as far as pest control goes, I mean, we can have everything set up throughout the growing season, have that plant producing at, at optimal uh, levels. And then if we get it late into the season and we have disease set in or, or insects, uh, that's going to just take the top right off that, that corn yield end of the year and if we're not paying attention to that, uh, that, that can quickly change how things turn out for us at the end of the year. So I mean you mentioned disease, uh, we talked about fungicide early, earlier and, and again fungicide is going to be important late in the year, not only for uh, a plant health aspect but if disease sets in that's going to be something we're going to want to watch over such as gray leaf spot, rust, uh, anything along those lines. And I, even if disease isn't relevant, I think putting fungicide out there just to promote overall all plant health can be helpful. And great idea, great idea. And then you also uh, mentioned insects. I mean, I get, along with that, those can move in whenever. It could be rootworm beetles, it could be corn leaf aphids, um, things along those lines. And the big big thing there is you're going to want your, your FCS agronomists out there 
to scout and see what you have out in the field. And if you need to pull the trigger, pull the trigger on uh, applying an insecticide. Make sure you're doing that early and not waiting too long to, to get that done. Yeah, it seems like those corn root worm beetles, even on the rotated acres, they're showing up. Yeah. Uh, especially on the corn on corn, you're seeing them. So yeah, the last few years they've been pretty terrible. So I guess if you have any questions on things you can do to achieve 300 bushel corn, uh, reach out to your local FCS agronomist. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Cody, for joining us. Thanks, Tyson. Have a good day. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Failgate Talks. Fail. Besides having me as your agronomist, what are some other things that you could do to obtain that? First off, I guess you could have Eric as your agronomist over you. But... <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all blustered. laughs> right. Good thing I'm fat. I got my marks made. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a good blooper. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I'm body positive about my weight. <laughs>